Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you notice, everything might look a little bit different right now. I slightly changed my setup and my lighting a little bit. I made the lights a lot less bright and added a lot more diffusion. So now I'll hopefully be able to open my eyes and not blink and close them every three seconds when I'm on camera. I got so many comments about it. I know it's annoying. You guys have no idea how much freaking light was surrounding me in my previous videos. So hopefully you guys like this a whole lot better, but let me know, a sister is working on it. Anyways, for today's video, I have something very, very fun planned that I'm actually so excited to try out. I've been seeing so many YouTubers lately doing videos testing out mixing their different products. I saw Sophia Nygaard testing out mixing her foundation first, and then she tested out mixing her liquid lipsticks to get a funky color. So for today's video, I'm trying something a little bit different, and I'm gonna mix together all of my setting powders. If you guys have been a long time sister, you know that setting powder is a little bit of a touchy subject for me. <laughs> when I first started doing my makeup, I used the Cody Air Sun Powder religiously, and we all know how that turned out. So this one has slowly made its way out of my routine. Now I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in almost every single video, but I've tried out so many different powders in between. Some of them are meant to mattify, some of them are meant to brighten, some of them prevent creases, but overall, the whole purpose of them is that they set the face in place. Today I'm gonna to be mixing together all my setting powders I have in my collection, both my favorites and the ones that have given me a little bit of trouble in the past in this empty setting powder container. We're gonna mix them all together and then we're gonna set my face in place. That actually kinda of hurt. <laughs> I'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out. Just on my first thoughts, I am assuming that it's probably gonna be ridiculously dry, like Sahara Desert level. I do have my setting spray just in case everything gets a little bit too serious and my face is like, you know, cracking off because it wouldn't be that big of a surprise, but who knows? I also feel like I probably am gonna get pretty bad flashback today. Hopefully Mary will not come back to play. I do have to wear this makeup to an event later on tonight, but I'll be taking you guys with me to show the full thing. I'll also be taking a lot of photos, so hopefully, None of them turn out too bad. Anyways, all that being said, if you'd like to see all my setting powders being mixed together, put them to the test, will it work, will it fail? Will Flashback Mary make an iconic appearance? Keep on watching. <laughs> So before I actually go into my foundation today, my first step is gonna be to go into the Tatcha Water Cream, which is my all-time favorite moisturizer. As I was just talking about, obviously the whole point of setting powder is to dry foundation down and set everything in place. And I definitely do not wanna be the Sahara Desert today. My skin is just starting to clear up a little bit, so I'm trying to protect it. Therefore, I need to be really, really hydrated before I suck all the moisture out. For foundation today, I'm gonna to grab my all-time favorite, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick, and this is in the shade Y335. I am using a stick shade that's slightly darker than my normal shade for them. I do have a bad feeling this is gonna give me a really bad flashback today, so I'm trying to combat that as much as possible. Then I'm just gonna add a few drops of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and use this to kind of blend that foundation out. This is a very, very dewy foundation, and once again, we're trying to add the most amount of moisture possible. Then just to brighten quickly, I'm gonna use my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand, as usual. So now that we have my foundation and concealer all in place, let's go ahead and mix all these setting powders together. I have an empty tub right here that is ready for this concoction. The first powder I wanna add is my all-time favorite, which is my Laura Mercier. I have some on the top of the jar right here, so I'm just going to pour that in, and then I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a tap, just to make sure we have enough in there. Next, I'm gonna add the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. Whew, that is a mouthful. This one smells literally so good. It actually smells like real peaches. I love this one as well. The only thing is this is a little bit orange, but that may help with combating like dark circles, especially under the eyes and in the beard area. So this could be a good addition. Just gonna tap a little bit of that powder in there. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. I've actually never tried this one out, but I've heard amazing, amazing things about it. So hopefully it'll be just as good for me. Next comes the powders that I either don't like as much, don't sit well on my skin, or gave me flashback. I'm first gonna pour in a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder. I did not like this one as much. It clung to my skin pretty bad. Oh my God. And also did way too much brightening, so. Whew. Next will be the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Next is gonna be one of my all-time least favorite setting powders, which is the Make It Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. Listen, I love Make It Forever. They are an amazing team. They have a lot of amazing products. I use their foundation in every single look, but this powder is just really not a good one at all. I know it does give very, very bad flashbacks, so I'm probably gonna have to stay away from the Snapchat tonight. I'm just gonna pour a little of this one in. Oh. And last but certainly not least, <laughs> we all know this one. <coughs> mm. Yes, we do. Oh. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's. 
That's enough. So that is all seven of our setting powders mixed together today. I am very, very scared for this, but I'm gonna put the cap back on and we're going to shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Shake your powder. Shake your powder. I need to stop. So looking at the powder in the jar, it definitely looks like a normal setting powder, although it does look a little bit chunky. I'm really not sure if that's because I just shook it to mix it together or if it's because the four loads of the powder aren't mixing together. Hopefully it's not option number two, but I guess we're gonna find out in a short second. Also, the color looks pretty normal as well, but I will say it does look a little bit more orange than normal. The Cody Aerosol powder and the Too Faced Peach powder are both slightly orangey, peachy toned, and hopefully that doesn't affect my color today, making me look like an Oompa Loompa. Then I'm just gonna go right into my beauty sponge, dip right into this powder and set my face. That's really matte, whoa. Then of course you guys might like to pack it on the nose to release. <coughs> I need water, I need water. Oh my God. As I was saying, I like to really, really pack it on the nose. That's always the one thing on my face that gets oily the fastest. This feels like a normal setting powder to apply, but I am not kidding when I say that I can literally like taste the peach in my mouth. I don't know if I put too much of the peach powder in or if it's just actually that strong, but regardless, I do like that setting powder, so hopefully it's working in my favor. Things are definitely getting a little peachy up here in the sister studio. So looking close up at my skin in the mirror, I look very, very matte. There's like not a single trace of, oh, oh my God. Okay, not only do I look matte, but I also feel matte too. Holy crap. Looking close up at my nose, however, there is two spots right here where the foundation is a little bit worn off. There were two little specks of setting powder that wouldn't go away. And I'm assuming that's from the RCMA powder because I remember that happening a lot when I used this powder. It like stuck to my foundation and when I rubbed it away, now I'm left with a little bit of discoloration right here. So hopefully I'll be able to fix that when it comes to the nose contouring later on. But I knew I didn't like this powder. Before we bake my face, I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to contour and bronze my face, normally using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and my Benefit Hula Bronzer, as always. Once we are all chiseled out, of course, we have to bake our face, so I'm gonna grab my blending sponge once again for Morphe and dip into our custom powder concoction right up in here, and we're going to turn on the oven at 350 degrees and bake it up. The point of baking is not only to prevent creases, but it's also to brighten and add a definition to makeup. So, with the addition of the Makeup Forever setting powder, which definitely has a lot of flashback and a lot of lightness, and also the RCMA color powder, which is white, hopefully this will do a really, really great job with that and not make me look disgusting. While we are baking at 350 degrees in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do my eyebrows off camera just to save some time. All right, so my brows are all set in place. It has been about 20 minutes now, so let's go ahead and wipe off the bake and see how this powder actually held up. Oh, so far so good. Everything is still really, really matte and set in place. And it does look a little bit brighter if you see like underneath this contour, but I feel like the true test is definitely the nose contour. So let's wipe this off as well. Okay, so I mean, to me, it looks like my normal nose contour. I mean, I did tell you guys I lost my nose contouring brush. So things in that department in general have been a little bit wonky, but overall, I feel like it looks really, really good. It didn't cling onto my skin at all, which is the thing that I was very, very worried about. Everything looks really, really nice, bright, set in place. So, so far, I actually have no complaints. I'm gonna give my face a light misting of the Scandinavian Makeup Finishing Spray just to make all the powders kind of melt together because Lord knows we have a lot of it on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes and the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be right back with the finished look. Then we'll put the setting powder concoction to the true test and see are seven powders mixed together. Sister approved, we'll have to find out. All right guys, and only a few hours later, <laughs> this is the finished look I came up with today. I came up with this purpley half cut crease and I added a wing liner as well. I haven't done purple or a wing in such a long time and honestly, I just felt like I was missing something in my life. I needed that purple smokiness, that cut winged liner and I am in love with how this look turned out. Just in case you're wondering, I created it using the brand new Morphe 15N palette. This is the Night Slayer palette from the Holiday Collection and it is so, so stunning. Friendly reminder, you can use code James for 10% off all Morphe products and the Holiday Collection. I would definitely recommend this. So looking at my face in the mirror, I am very, very mad. There is no question about that. Literally dewy skin, never heard of her. I have literally no shine anywhere on my face except for obviously the places I put highlighter, but I feel like even my highlighter today is not shining as bright as normal because we layered on so much powder beforehand. Honestly, my face feels really, really secure. Like I said earlier, it even feels matte, like it's super, super dry. So honestly, I feel like this may last for a very, very long time, but I have literally no idea we're gonna put that to the test. So I'm gonna go get changed. This outfit is 
a little bit dusty if I do say so myself. I'm gonna put on a hat and jacket because I have a birthday dinner tonight over in Malibu to celebrate Sister Patrick Star's birthday. Love him so much. And we're gonna be wearing this makeup all night. Will it flash? Oh, oh my God, before I leave, let me take a flash test right now before we actually leave the studio. The true test. It didn't flash back. Not even gonna lie, I'm a little bit shook right now. I 150% thought we were gonna have a flashback Mary situation tonight. I was really, really ready to take a whole lot of Snapchats, have the internet go crazy once again, only to use it for video promo for this video, but this is not a bad thing. That being said, even though it's not flashing back now, it may flash back later on as the powder wears down, we may get creases. So, like I was saying before I got sidetracked, I'm gonna go quickly get dressed for the event tonight and I'm gonna head out and I'll make sure to keep you guys posted all throughout the night with lots of updates with my sisters and friends. Will this mixture of the seven most popular setting powders stay looking amazing like it does right now or will it get creasy and cracky and gross and cakey you'll have to find out okay sisters we're here at nobu i have sisters karen and crispy and sydney i'm gonna ask all of you individually what do you think about my skin right now i think you look very good he looks very snatched skin looks fit together a little more matte than usual very matte full coverage personally i love matte it looks full coverage as <laughs> and yeah like what is it? it's very matte it looks soft okay it's like like powdery almost. Here with Sister Yoli Glow, the woman who slays my skin all the time. Gorgeous. Yoli, what do you think about my skin right now? Like, what does it look like to you? It looks gorgeous. The texture is perfect and you have a glow. I approve, 100%. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> so this is a powder that emphasizes texture, you guys, and it's, it's doing an amazing lovely. job. I hate you. Because it's really emphasizing. It's cracking. All of it. When you don't set your makeup, <laughs> how bad it'll look by the end of the night. You too saw. <laughs> what does it look like? But you look really matte. Okay. Very matte. Like very, very matte. matte. Okay. Is it flashbacky? <laughs> I don't know. Give me, let's Is it test. flashback, Mary? Oh, it's actually pretty. It's actually oh. pretty good. Guys, I'm with the woman of the hour, Sister Star. Happy oh birthday, gosh, baby. Thank you. I have a question for you. Okay, go ahead. What do you think about my skin right now? She's full coverage. She's matte, mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. I like it. Does it look good? Yeah, what is okay. it? I mixed together every single setting powder that I own <laughs> and used that to set my face today. Not my powder, bitch. Well, so, not that powder. Well, um, if it was launched. I'm going to need you to reshoot this launched. video. <laughs> launch is December 14th in all Mac stores. <laughs> Global, darling. You're so proud of you, sister. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Hello sisters, I am back home from the birthday event. That was literally so much fun. I have a beanie on right now because it was literally so cold outside. I am actually so happy that it's finally getting cold in LA. I thought it was gonna be summer all year round, but winter time is coming. It is currently 11.47 PM, meaning I've had this makeup on for just over seven hours now, which is crazy because, <laughs> guys, this looks so good. I did not touch up once tonight. This is the first time since I started wearing makeup and going to events that I did not bring a beauty blender with me to even like do some touch-ups or to powder my face. And this still looks so bomb. I can't freaking believe how mad it looks too. Like there's literally no oil at all. Like not even on my nose. And you guys know, Sister James's nose is usually a problem place. Everybody that I asked about my skin tonight said that it looked really, really smooth, really, really good, really, really full coverage, and really, really matte. I mean, obviously, we did mix together seven powders to set my face today. <laughs> I hate to say it because I honestly really thought this is gonna be a complete joke, but as you saw, not a single one had flashback. My skin looked smooth. It still looks smooth. It's still dry. It's still matte. Guys, I think I just found my new favorite makeup trick. <laughs> This is obviously the first time that I've ever mixed setting powders, but after trying this trick out, I honestly do think I'm gonna make a custom concoction to use for my everyday use. I'll probably end up mixing my Laura Mercier, my Too Faced Peach Perfect, and then a little bit of the Cody Aerosol Powder because these are my all-time favorites. I don't know about the RCMA or the Makeup Forever one because these do get pretty bad flashback and this one is a little bit clingy. And I think that I'm gonna have to test out the Beauty Bakery one a little bit more as well because obviously I've never actually used this on its own. So I definitely wanna see how it actually wears before I put it into the big concoction, but Using a mix of setting powders I think is a really really cool thing that I can't believe I've actually never thought of Obviously the whole point of mixing them is like to get the best of all worlds of all the different setting powders So I really really like this trick and definitely would recommend to you guys If you guys have a bunch of setting powders mix them together try out your favorites and definitely let me know how they wear throughout the day Do they crack do they look matte? I want to hear the tea because I am so shook at the results of this and I definitely want to keep doing this
All right, guys, now that's all I have for this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you want me to mix together any other makeup products, definitely let me know. This was so much fun to do. If you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for 2 million subscribers. I have not gotten a chance to thank you guys yet. We are literally almost at 2.1 million, which is so, so crazy. The sisters are growing so, so fast, so make sure to join the sisterhood. Click that little bell icon as well so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This week's sister shout out goes to Kendra. Thank you so much for you for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be next video sister shout out, make sure to always reach me my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, it is getting very, very late. I definitely need my beauty rest, so I'm gonna take this makeup off and head to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.